and uh, invite the Open Group CTO, Dave Lounsbury, to join me up on the stage, and we'll, uh, we'll try something different, and hopefully it will, uh, it will be something that uh, you'll find interesting. So, Dave, where should we go? Here? Here and here. <clears throat> oh, very nice. So the thought, the thought here, am I? Yes, I am, yep. good. The thought uh, uh, was inspired actually by uh, an invitation that uh, I received recently to uh, a very impressive event in Shenzhen, China, put on by Huawei, and some of our Huawei colleagues are here today, um, where I was asked on a, on a panel, what is it that the Open Group can provide or offer to organizations who are either embarking on their digital transformation journey or are partway through it? And uh, what I came up with was, well, from an open group point of view, you would take an architecture approach to, to that transformation. You'd start with um, looking at TOGAF, looking at what the vision is, the, the uh, business rationale for making that, uh, that transformation journey. You'd start there. Um, TOGAF is, is, as we know, uh, very widely used uh, throughout the world. More than 80% of the world's uh, top companies are using it in some way. Um, more than 50,000 individuals around the world are certified in it. It's, uh, it, it's, it provides a great common language for people to, to start approaching these things. With it, of course, we've got the Archimate uh, language, which works perfectly. Um, with TOGAF for, for doing the modeling. So that would be a good start, is what I was saying. Um, and then, of course, we've got, um, also in the open group, we've got the Open Platform 3.0 forum, which is uh, where we are tackling the, the uh, convergence of these new you know, disruptive technologies, the Internet of Things, big data, um, social, um, cloud, uh, all of these things that come together, SOA, um, they provide huge opportunities for organizations uh, to take advantage of those, but they also provide a huge threat if um, those, those opportunities aren't dealt with right or if they miss the boat, um, fall behind their competitors. So we've got a number of things going on in that space, um, in that forum, um, and one specific that ties those first two together is the um, Digital Business Strategy and Customer Experience Workgroup, which is a joint activity between the Open Platform 3.0 Forum and the Architecture Forum. And that is really coming at this from a, from a customer experience point of view. Uh, customers expect a lot nowadays. They expect um, to be able to do things on their mobile devices in particular. Um, and it's, uh, as we heard yesterday, um, any app is only as good as the best one that's out there. It's a very competitive field, so we're, we're trying to look at that in there. And also, um, there's an activity to, to look at agile uh, enterprise architecture, which is, which is uh, being talked about at the, at the governing board level. And the last part I said um, uh, when I was asked the question was, and of course, in a business transform digital transformation, what we consistently hear is IT is going to be really important. I mean, I've heard it said that every, every company that, that becomes uh, a digital company is effectively going to become a software company. That, that's one extreme. You know, software eats the world is another way of putting it, whatever. But it seems to be the case that um, the, the IT in an organization will be key to a digital transformation. And so, as we heard a lot about it yesterday, IT for IT um, uh, inside the Open Group provides this end-to-end -end view, this value, um, value chain approach, value stream approach um, that really uh, changes the way that um, the IT function can be looked at in an organization and, and the value that it, that it can offer. Um, you know, we, we, an interesting thing we heard from Dave Hornford yesterday was, was it's a real accelerator. Uh, there are different ways of looking at it. Whatever it is, IT for IT is really significant. And you can talk about DevOps, Scrum, Agile, all of those things. But at the end of the day, there still needs to be this, this there needs to be some governance, there needs to be some controls, and this end-to-end -end view is, is key. So... That was what I said. <laughs> well, I will, I will, what would you say from a CTO well, point of view? First, 
<laughs> first, uh, good, good job on that. Um, you, you covered it all. You know, we've always said, we've said for years that, um, you know, the TOGAF methodology is the core methodology of how you do enterprise architecture. And what you do is you, you, you pick your framework and you use the TOGAF methodology to fill it. So this is a, another example of that where we're moving forward into the digital age and digital and customer experience age where we're, we're in the process of developing these frameworks and you see the white papers listed on the screen here that you can use the TOGAF methodology to fill and model and archimate. And then, of course, you implement it in IT for IT. The thing I'll add on IT for IT, by the way, is a big part of the uh, digital transformation is how you operate at scale, and that's something that's emerging in the uh, IT for IT form, and I think they'll be working with the Open Platform 3.0 form to figure out how you, you, you can operate at small scale, and then when you take over the world and you want millions of orders pouring in, you can scale up there. So that'll be an important part of that. Um, it is a software world, though, and we, um, uh, we do need to also think about the other illities that you need, and particularly if you're working in a large-scale distributed world, you know, one that you think about is security. If Martin, I could ask you to flip the next slide. Thank you. So, so you still need to think about the basics, right? Those haven't gone away as you operate in this new world of scale. Um, you know, the big one, of course, is security. You're going to be handling a lot of customer data. You're going to have a very large threat surface uh, operating all this stuff on, on open networks. So you want to carefully assess where your risks are and uh, develop an approach to that. Uh, and, of course, we've got standards for that um, in open fair and the information security model. Um, the, uh, since you're taking an architecture approach, uh, the security form and the architecture form have cooperated to develop a uh, methodology for architecting with security, and the document is the Integrating Risk and Security in the TOGAF Enterprise Architecture. You see it on the screen. At some point, you know, we've, you've got your, your software, you've got your open platform 3.0, your implementation IT for IT, but you're going to do all those in an ecosystem. You're going to have partners, and so you want to make sure that you have a way of finding partners that you can trust with all your operations in your data. So um, the Open Trusted Technology Provider Standard, which talks about how you establish uh, trusted relationships, can play into that. And you may want to think about dependability, you know, making sure your stuff is up. And there's, uh, again, emerging work in the um, real-time and embedded systems forum for how you architect for dependability as well. So, so, and there's many other things going on. I, I know we're short on time, so I don't want to take too much time. The other thing I'll add, of course, is in this world, you've got this big job of transformation. You've got the architecture part of the transformation. You've got implementation of the transformation. You've got your security assessment. And we know from, you know, business architecture that, you know, you need the architecture. You know, you need to figure out what your capabilities are. But you also need to figure out what your competencies are. And one of the things that I think would help with this approach, would help with this transformation, is in most of these cases, there's a way that you can come to the open group and find people who are knowledgeable in architecture, in Archimate, in open fair, uh, so that you can actually, you know, staff up to actually successfully transform. Yeah, that's the key. I mean, the, the, the opportunity to share those, uh, those expertise and, and knowledge across the, uh, right. across the different forums is, yep. is one of the things that uh, we try to encourage at the open group, I know. So yep. it's, uh, it's good. So. So, of course, one of the differences from CTO has to talk about illities. Um, <laughs> so they, there you go. It's one of the differences. But there's a lot, there's a lot going on um, here and elsewhere. And, um, you know, we are also, uh, uh, you mentioned partners for the, uh, for the member organizations. We obviously uh, are working with other organizations in the industry to... Uh, uh, to uh, make sure that we're getting the most out of uh, most benefit for for our members and for their members in uh, in cooperating, so um, we're always looking for for those opportunities. And uh, if if any of you out there are active in another group, then you think you know maybe there's some uh, some uh, good reason for the open group and uh, and this other industry group to work together, then uh, then let us know. We're uh, we're very keen to uh, to partner and. Uh, 
and make the most of the resources we have. So. Yeah. Well, and on the resource front, you know, if this is something that's of interest to your organization, please come to the forum meetings and uh, or, or contact one of the forum directors. They can tell you in more detail than we've had time to do here what's going on. Maybe you can get involved or make help make connections to people in your organization who are working on this sort of thing. So we can uh, we can get your knowledge and and your input into making these standards better. Okay. All right. Great. Thank, thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you.